Hello, we will talk about Form 5, Chapter 1, factor that affects the growth of microorganisms in experiment form. Let's go! Okay, light. So we have this little uh, subtopic here called the factor affects the growth of microorganisms. Um, there is five factors as you have already seen uh, in your textbook or your school teachers has already talked about it. But what I want to emphasize today is not the tier or it's not the knowledge about it. It's how you answer questions like that, okay? Because it can get a little bit technical, okay? 有点技巧啊，要回答这种experiment的的种类的问题。好，不过还是会跟你讲解一下里面的细节啦。We talk about the details, ah, I mean the theory part. So humidity, very simple, ah, um, like you and me, all living things need water to survive, right? So dry, of course, they don't like it, lah. Who wants to go to desert and have a party? I mean, come on, desert, like hello. So, ah, do you draw your friend like, eh? Wow, they're not bad, huh? like a lot of sand, dry, no water, hey, <laughs> let's go. No, right? Of course, they want water. So remember, remember, dam condition is the, uh, is the best uh, condition in, in terms of dry or water huh? for the microorganisms to grow or reproduce. Dry, nah, don't like it. Okay, light. Only those with chlorophyll, which is like, for example, algae category, yeah, uh, which is those who require sunlight to carry out photosynthesis, will only like um, light condition. Okay, 光合作用的才才会喜欢啦，其他的都不会喜欢. Fungi and and bacteria grows uh better in in the dark because sunlight can actually kill them. UV can kill microorganisms. So there's two different world here. Lah, huh? Next will be nutrient. Of course, makan very important. You and me, makan is like your basic. Huh? So rate of growth of microorganisms will increase when there is presence of nutrients. No nutrients, meh, no, uh, no growth. Okay, temperature. This is also one of the very famous questions to ask. Yeah? Temperature, only around 35 to 40 is what they like. Okay, it's the optimum, 最适合. Optimum temperature, 三十三十三十五到十，就是你的体温呢，是最适合啊，for它生，所所以我们生病啊，它寄生在我们身体里面。Alright, they grow in our body and make us sick. That's why they like our body temperature. Low temperature, like refrigerator, slow down, but it will not stop completely. It will retard. Retard means like slow down, money then, but in in uh in Room temperature or your body temperature is where they like the most. Same goes to the opposite. High temperature can kill microorganisms. So too high, too low, no good. They like in the middle 35 to 40. That's where they party the best. Your body is the best. Okay, they will party. But when they go to cold temperature in refrigerator, like where you keep your fish, meat and all that, it slows them down that the party goes slower. So they go slower. But high temperature will kill them around 60 Celsius and above. Okay, that's why this, this question, uh, this temperature is a very famous experiment to us. Same goes to pH value. Seven is what they like the most, which is neutral. Okay, so uh who alkaline, too acidic, no ah. Zhong Xing, Zhui Xi Huan, Xuan Xing, Gen Jian Xing. A little bit okay, but not too much ah. Not too acidic, not too alkaline, or else they will die. Slightly is alright, yeah. Hand, okay ah. That's the basic ah. Nothing very difficult ah. But how question will ask that usually ah. Question comes in the form of ah experiment. Okay, so like I show you how. First thing first, we have to understand the picture a bit. So usually we use Petri dish uh, in your textbook, question gives you in Petri dish or it could be in test tube form. If it's in test tube form, they will use nutrient broth, broth like soup like that, like tang, a bit we call broth. If you have a Petri dish, nutrient agar. If it's in Petri dish, they use nutrient agar, which is like jelly form, like jam, you just have to... 
and you spread over it. But this is like soup like that, broth. Okay. Um, and all of them with bacterial culture. Bacterial culture means good bacteria. Good bacteria like Yakult, Vitagen, um, yogurt, cheese, those are good bacteria. Okay. Uh, we cannot use the real diseases disease causing bacteria because that will make the person who is carrying out this to fall asleep, right? So we use bacterial culture. Yi jun. Yo yi da hao de bing jun jiao yi jun. Okay. So we have three conditions here because we're doing temperature. Yeah. 5, 37, and 70. Yeah. So obviously we are testing on effect of temperature. Okay. So Oh, before we start, you already know they like this one on and this one don't like on, this one don't like on. Huh? Okay, so we have nutrient broth for the bacteria to grow to party. Like we provide everything you want, whatever you want to eat, makan, whatever I give you. Huh? Party, enjoy yourself. But I didn't tell you which is which room. This room is the best temperature room. This is like this is like uh 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 like an Antarctica and this is like the desert okay I'm, I'm not telling you that i want to see which one will stay alive and which one do not like it so and now we have three types of condition to test out okay then these are the results if the neutron broth turns cloudy means they like it means 37 very cloudy and like milk like they are very cloudy it means what means they like it a lot that's why it makes it cloudy you know like how people go to club and all that like you watch movie wow wow a lot of people a lot of smoke wow 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 a lot of people so that's basically how it is this one a bit cold ah. they didn't know then they enter they were like, oh, oh, so cold how how to do to party oh party lo slower lo <laughs> so it makes them slower but slightly cloudy too hot also ah. like why hot eh can ah can ah slower only so also not so cloudy lah okay there you go that's the result i hope you understand how the experiment carried out yeah so the result here shows you whether they grow or no grow okay remember cloudy is a lot of growth so like based on a uh, very technical uh, section a type of question uh, section a means like um, in your paper two the first uh four or five questions uh, uh. okay so like the first question is asking for um observation yeah observation okay like i show you all the techniques yeah so observation means say what you see you cannot someone say some more be childish be very surface don't write too much of explanation so based on the above result which is here explain what you see like say one more time okay so uh from what i have here is i realize 37 is see very cloudy are very cloudy yeah i say what i see i don't know why lah, but i know what i see is the neutron broth uh is very cloudy at 37 okay Right, so uh, like let's form into sentences. Yeah. Okay. So how do we start off? We can write like um, your responding almost like your responding variable uh -huh. So the condition of neutron broth. Okay, at thirty seven C. I don't have the degree lah. You can write at thirty seven degree C. Okay is the most cloudy something like that or you want to write the opposite also can okay, i you want to do this and do this but i i usually i write the most obvious one okay do i have to do all three love never mind do one only ma do one only state one observation okay right next one give one inference inference also another format to learn this is called the observation plus Reason 就是你要讲你看到的东西再加加语解释就是哎怎么这样浊的嘞 Why so cloudy one ah Why ah Why ah Reason Give explanation oh, So the format is like that ah A bit long but that's how you do it You must use your observation Bring it down Then only plus your reason That means because later on So we must do this first Okay Can ah Okay 
来。So format 啊 ，remember a bit 啦啊。The bobian is that one. You must remember how to write the format. Only you can score. Okay. So we will write as uh the in the observation uh for the first part. Okay. So you can write nutrient. You want copy exactly also can lah, but I just want to shorten it a bit ah. Nutrient broth. Uh, nutrient broth. At thirty seven C is the most cloudy because now, nah, ladies and gentlemen, the quality of ah uh, this this is where I start my explanation. But before that, I'm just using what I have. Above, bring it down. Okay, so now only I explain the reason. Okay, ah, uh, how do I get back to this? <laughs> Wait, give me a moment. Ah, uh, okay. Like because what ah? Uh, um, because they party a lot. Thirty seven ah. Ooh. Yeah, that's where they party a lot. Okay, because bacteria is the most. At temperature, uh, no need lah, no need temperature. It's most active at thirty seven C. Okay, or you can write because bacteria, ah, uh, because thirty seven C is the most suitable temperature for bacteria to grow. So many ways lah, or you can write because, ah. Uh, Uh, thirty seven is the optimum temperature. Ah, uh, you can use the keyword what we have in front just now. Okay, you all get it. Steady, ah. Uh. Okay, bye. Next one. Manipulated variable. 超重性变数 Usually free from table one ah,、uh, which is here lah. Ah,、uh, free one lah,、uh, like free lah. You know how Malaysian like free stuff lah,、like、free lah. Ah,、uh, free one, free one. Like like now, ha ha. I I teach you free one. Okay, you download the material also free one. I think I forgot to mention about that. Please help yourself to download the materials in the the description box below. Okay, I am print it for yourself if you want to. Free one, ah, best kind. So, like manipulated variable is copy from table. Free one, temperature. Okay, so like you can write it down here. Hey,、okay. hello, not coming up. Okay, so temperature. Okay, right. Next, responding also free one ah from table ah free one, which is the. You know how cloudy it is, and many plate and response are always free from above, lah. Ah,、uh, so but but depends. You know sometimes here says observation. You know you're not gonna copy that, right? The title says observation. Whoops, what happened? The title says obs. You know you're not gonna copy that, okay? Okay. So so uh, it depends if it's just observation. You have to change a bit. You have to think about the real answer. But sometimes question give you ready, then why not for free? Okay, like responding variable. Ah,、uh, will be eh. Where does it go? Okay, so that will be ah、uh, the condition of nutrient broth. Okay, the condition of nutrient broth or the cloudiness of. There you go. Okay, cool. Extra answer for you. Like last one, ah. Uh, based on the experiment, state the operational definition of. Haha, <laughs> this one, ah, sure got one or at least two question, in section A, ah. So, ah,、uh, operational definition. Remember, guys, this is to explain based on your responding variable, which is here. Okay, yeah. All right. So, write based on what you have. Observe what you have seen, okay. Very childish one, ah.、Uh, uh, if you write like, oh, bacterial growth ah、uh, is where the process where bacteria obtain nutrients from surrounding enough of water sufficient of, ah,、uh, whatever. Then, it's like you Google ah、uh, the answer. No, 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 no. Must explain what you see. Imagine like a five year old kid. I always tell this to my students. So imagine like a five year old kid coming to you and ask you what is. Bacterial growth. If you throw the definition from Google to them, the five year old kid will be looking at you like, ah.、Uh, so 
make it as simple as possible. So to explain to a five-year-old kid what is bacterial growth, the best way is to say something that the five-year-old can see. 越简单越好，最好就是简单到他看到的成果就是就是最好的解释了。so what is bacterial growth? Bacterial growth, the best to explain is, eh, look at the neutron broth. Ah. Ah, right? Neutron broth cloudy, ding, got grow. That's bacterial growth. No? Bacterial growth, cloudy. No bacterial growth, no cloudy. So the five-year-old kid will be getting it straight away like, oh, got cloudy, got grow. No cloudy. No grow. Okay, okay. Understand. Then ma won't catch you anymore. Lor. If you explain so difficult, the five year old kid will be always asking you why and why and why and endless. So to shut the five year old kid up quickly and easily and straightforward, just for example, lah, by the way, of course, if five year old kids ask you stuff, be patient. Lah. So um you get it right? Let's make it straightforward. Yeah. So let me show you how, remember the, 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 the tips, or I should say the strategy, or I should say the technique here is actually based on your responding variable. So like you copy down your, what your question one was bacterial growth, that one I, from here lah. Okay, take it up from here. Okay, that's uh, to start off. Yeah, and then, um, Okay, what is bacterial growth? So bacterial growth, yeah, is a process. It's not a substance. So it depends. Sometimes question give you something like, for example, what is uh, what is the operational definition of uh, antibiotic? Then you oh, antibiotic is something. It's a substance, or antibiotic is is a something like it's like a thing. But bacterial growth, not a thing. Bacterial growth is not something. It's a process. So you write accordingly. So usually it's substance or process, lah. Huh? Usually, yeah. <laughs> so bacterial growth is a process. Okay. How, uh, how to tell the five-year-old kid? Uh, it's a process that causes or that can cause. Okay. The uh, neutron growth to become very cloudy in neutral condition. Okay, in neutral condition. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So you see, this is what I copy. Okay, it's a process, depends what question is asking for. So usually it's a process or it's a substance. Then behind here is what? Is my responding really lah? Isn't it? I didn't throw the terms to the five-year-old kid ma. If you throw the terms difficult explanation to the five year cannot understand or not, waste your time. Let's explain what he can see or she can see. 解释 based on the responding unit 反应性变数来帮你. This is how operational definition uh, work. Uh, huh? I hope you get it. I hope you understand better in this way. I have question two for you to try out. Same, same, but let me give you the guidance and tips first. This is pH value, so do the same way. You can see the question, same one, same one. Factor is the thing that is changing. So use my technique just now. Try one more time. 自己试一下,一模一样,超回我刚刚教你的方法. Replay过这个video. 再自己试写多一次,可是换了factor,就是换了超重性变数. We changed the manipulator already, uh, which is a pH value. Try that on for yourself. Answers will be provided also in the material that you download. Okay? Okay la, I hope this video helped la. Give me a thumbs up, share to your friends, or consider to subscribe. I will see you in the next video, alright? Bye guys! See you!